liked how it was done. You know, at the end of the day, it, it's a bold move. I, I just, like I've always been different. You know what I mean? I, I just don't give a fuck. I guess you could say some sort of an attention getter, wanter, however the fuck that is. I don't know. I'm sure Dr. Phil got a word for that shit. You know what I'm I mean, saying? But, I mean, everybody internalizes something, right? I mean, everybody like uh, wants to be somebody. Yeah, you know, I mean, I guess that's what you could call it. I, I really don't know. I mean, all, all I went and asked Nick, hey, you mind? It, yeah. it wasn't like I'm just some <laughs> hard motherfucker that showed up, job and all, motherfucker what? like. Respectably, I got these motherfuckers. You had you know your job, I mean? and yeah. then you and like then you I got showed your up. Tattoos. I had a couple here. I had the big ass mafia on the back of the head, which kind of threw people. That looked real gangbanger, so just that one half-ass tattoo, and then the two blurbs I had there. So I was like, I, I really was like, you know, I, I want to get rid of this shit. And I don't know if you ever know like a two crack dealer, but if you if you ever meet one and and be like, hey. I only got 50, and you're trying to buy $40 worth of crack, he gonna be like, look, I ain't got change to spend the 50. Yeah. So, where I'm going with that was, God damn, I don't even know where, I, I think where I was going with that was when I got this tattoo covered, I went to the dude and he was like, you can't just half-ass it, you gotta go all in. So we couldn't just redo the letters like I wanted. I was gonna redo the letters big, except respect and loyalty, just I don't know if you remember this real small hella blurb. Yeah. I was like, fuck, he was like, you just, you know, you probably don't want to do it, do you? I was like, yeah, let's do it, fuck it. So he did this one, and then we did my forehead. And then from there, it became just piecing. Like, I look at my boy, he had his head done. And what's the job situation was cool. Like, you know, that's, that's what everybody's, oh, God, I got to have a job. Yeah. Look, everybody that says that, I work with. You know what I mean? So ultimately, in my mind, I, 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 look, what I, I even went on like two interviews just to see how somebody would take me. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah. that's the first thing I tell a motherfucker. When, when old girl hired me at the job called Cloudy or whatever, I told her on the phone. I said, look, I got some, a couple tattoos. At that time, like the two I had, the one on my head, I thought I was gangster and shit. I'm like, hey, I got tattoos on my face and shit. Hey, no problem, no problem. I was like, cool. So now it's different. Motherfuckers from my eyebrows to my knuckles, you know what I mean? Like, there's not a lot of skin you don't see with tattoos on. Yeah. So I called some bitches, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, you understand. So I showed up, it was a, a receiving clerk or some shit in the pharmaceutical warehouse. And I tell them, I was like, I'm tattooed from my eyelids to my fucking knuckles. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was cool with it though, you know what I mean? So ultimately it ain't that big of a deal. Like I say, they, they, I, I, don't, I didn't put no cursing and shit on there. Like, the art, the way it all came together, my boy Purgatory Tattoos, shout out to Chris. Like, I, I didn't put none of this together, you know what I mean? Like, not, none of it, for real. I, ha I had a bunch of shit, he's took and redid, you know, like I had certain things. Like, you know, I, I had the scrolls, all my children's names in them, but he's took, he redid them all, put clouds, like he redid everything I've had done. That cross was like 17 years old. Like he, he's just remastered all my tattoos, but he's a guy that don't just do a tattoo. It just kept on rolling with the design. So when I tell him, I said, look, I kind of want like a dove and, and a rose. And when I laid down, I didn't know what this shit looked like. I just came up and looked in the mirror. <laughs> when I did the top piece and all how this shit all faded in together, I literally, I didn't tell him this is what I want. When I did my neck, I went in that day, I did eight hours on my neck. I said, look, I want some rays and some fucking doves, a couple roses. I laid down, next thing I know, I came up with the roses, the angels, the stars. So he just kind of takes off, you know what I mean? He's an artist yeah, in his own. That's so awesome. I literally just lay down. I'm just kind of a project, you know what that's I mean? Awesome. Like, I'm just work. Good dude, great dude. Any motherfuckers ever see this? In town, purgatory tattoo, 110. Good that dudes though, man. That's what I mean about the boldness, bro. I mean, the boldness just to say, let me be a canvas to your art. Yeah, you know, and, straight and up. How much would you say this has cost you? Just speaking to the camera about this. It would probably cost you 10 grand or so. Me, I don't know. You know, that, that's iffy, because this goes back 15 years, remind you. So, 
you know, through the street tats where you could be like, look, I spent a bag of weed on that one. I, I spent 50, 100 on that one. But then you got to go through, like, I go in now for sessions at six, seven hours at a time. But I don't pay a lot. So I, me personally, if I tried to add everything up, I, I would probably say like 55, 6,000, somewhere in that area. My professional work is not too hefty. He's really cool with me. You know what I mean? I'm like a billboard for all you motherfuckers out there that might think you want a tattoo. Either a motherfucker looks and says, look, I want, yeah, that motherfucker's tight. Or you're going to be like, yeah, that's the reason I'm not getting a tattoo right there. You know, you get a lot of people think, why the fuck would you do that? Why the fuck you still looking at me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's all I can say. Like, I, I, I don't, you know, hey, I, bold, Charles, you know, you know Jobs. Ooh. Wouldn't you say it's just bold? I say, yeah, to an extent. I mean, it shows I don't give a fuck what you think, no matter who you are. But it also shows to a certain amount, like, I pick my, I, I never plan to go be some motherfucker that is a GM of a Walgreens. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I know what I'm doing. Like, I ultimately chose to go a fuckhead's way of life and not do where I feel I could have amounted and, and went higher and higher and higher. And where I'm at now, not to say I couldn't go where I want to, I just choose not to, you know what I mean? So the tattoos, like, I, again, I weighed all that shit out. I didn't just, again, it stops no to like everybody. Two. Never been to prison, never. <laughs> Mucho County jail trips, never to penitentiary. Ain't got time for it. Too many kids, man, I got people who depend on me.